गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी क्लासेस वी आर ऑन चैप्टर थ्री द सेल एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लांट एंड एनिमल सेल एंड सेल डिविजन सो लेट इज बिगिन द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनिमल एंड प्लांट सेल इज द सेम बट there are some differences between them so the table over here is showing the basic differences between a plant cell and a animal cell so the first column is showing the characteristics and the next two columns are for plant cell and other side is for animal cell so let us see them one by one cell wall in a plant cell cell wall is present around the cell membrane we can say that there are two membranes in the plant cell one is cell wall and one is cell membrane on the other hand in animal cell the cell wall is absent plastids that we have studied chromoplast chloroplasts plast and uh, leucoplast in the previous lesson the same thing plastids are present in plant cell because they impart color to the plant flower or fruit or vegetables but in animal cell the plastids are absent then centrosome in plant cell centrosome is absent but in animal cell the centrosomes are present vacuole a large vacuole is present in the plant cell i have shown you also in the picture the center portion is covered with a large vacuole in the plant cell whereas in animal cell vacuoles are absent and even if they are present they are very very small in size the lysosomes they are the digestive cells the sorry the organelles which help in the digestion inside the cell so lysosomes are absent in the plant cell but they are present in the animal cell so these are the differences between plant and animal cell now the next topic is cell division when a cell is formed it is small after digesting food it grows in size so when a new cell is formed that cell is very very small or tiny but after digesting food when the cell get food it starts growing in size but this growth of cell is limited it does not keep on growing and growing and growing there is a limited uh, size to which a cell will grow after growing to a certain size the cell divide into two cells after that certain size is attained after that growth is done or complete then the cell will divide into two cells and the process by which the new cells are formed is called cell division this process by which new cells are formed or uh, old cell divides into two new cells it is called cell division these new cells which are formed they are called the daughter cells the new cells are formed for growth of an organism and replacing old cell so what is the uh, function of these new cell the as the cell divide and redivide the growth occurs the it results in the growth of organism and also new cells are formed 
बिकॉज दे रिप्लेस द ओल्ड सेल्स ओल्ड सेल्स दे डाई दे गेट सम इंजरी और दे स्टॉप वर्किंग सो दे नीड टू बी रिप्लेसड बाय न्यू सेल्स सो दैट इज वाई सेल डिविजन टेक प्लेस सम सेल्स कीप ऑन डिवाइडिंग थ्रू आउट द लाइफ इन ह्यूमन बॉडी न्यू सेल डिवाइड एंड आर रिप्लेसड ईच सेकेंड सो दिस सेल डिविजन और फॉर्मिंग ऑफ न्यू सेल्स दिस प्रोसेस टेक प्लेस ईच एंड एवरी सेकेंड इन साइड द ह्यूमन बॉडी इट्स अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस द ओल्ड सेल डाई एंड द न्यू सेल्स आर रिप्लेस्ड द ओल्ड सेल्स आर रिप्लेस्ड बाय द न्यू सेल्स न्यू सेल्स आर फॉर्म्ड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल डिविजन The skin cells also keeps on dividing. Now sometimes we see that our skin become very dry, especially during winter time. Uh, it becomes very dry. Um, it becomes very itchy. Sometimes we can even see flakes, white flakes coming off the skin. The skin. What are those flakes? they are the old cells the old skin cells which keep on shedding off and those old cells were replaced by the new cells new skin cells then nerve cells cannot be replaced once they die so i think almost all the cells in the body can be replaced if they die but nerve cells which are present in our brain they cannot be replaced once they die once the nerve cells die the person or the organism also dies hence injury from all part of the body can be healed leaving the nervous system so the cells in our nervous system which are called neurons or nerve cells they cannot be replaced by new cells they keep on working throughout our life till we live so that is all about cell division now here is a picture of cell division now here you can see in the first picture there is a single cell containing nucleus around the nucleus the bluish portion that you can see is the cytoplasm now this cell you can see the red arrow the nucleus start stretching and dividing into two parts in the center picture you can see the cytoplasm is also getting divided into two parts whereas the nucleus has already divided into two parts cell membrane also divides and in the last picture you can see the two new cells which are formed and both the new cells are having cytoplasm as well as nucleus so this is the process of cell division one cell divide into two parts two daughter cells and again these two daughter cells will start dividing into two parts means then it will become four daughter cells then it will become eight daughter cells and like likewise it will they will keep on dividing and redividing and why is cell division important or what is the uh, function of it it results in the growth of the organism always remember why cell division occur because it results in the growth of the organism for example when a baby is born baby is very small a newborn baby is very very small in size but the same baby each and every month 
keep on growing and growing and increasing in size and uh, at if you see the same baby after one year or two year you will notice that the baby has not even uh, not only grown in size but the baby has start performing other functions also so how the baby has grown in size because of the process of cell division which has taken place in the body of the baby so that is it so that's all for today students this chapter is completed now do revise the topics clear your doubts and the question answers will be discussed in the next class have a good day